But sir, society plays a major role in our lives. As in, if we talk about relationships and all, even casteism is there, which yes. comes from the society only. Yes. Uh, taking a personal example, I am suffering from that casteism one thing. Correct. My boyfriend is a pundit. I am right. not. So his parents oppose our relationship, and he cannot continue with the relationship in the future. So ultimately, we have to break it. So how to deal with these things? What's her name? Apurva. Apurva. What enables the other person to control me? What enables the other person to control me? And why must I be afraid of the other person? We all complain that our lives are dominated by external forces, correct? And that makes life miserable. But have you ever tried to think? What enables that other person to control me? We let them do that. But hmm? sometimes we let them do. Why do we let them do that? Because uh, we are happy with it. We are okay. We are okay with, uh, with them controlling us. We cannot force somebody to be with us, no. No, you can't force somebody to be with you. But at the same time, you can't allow someone to dictate your own life. You don't want it, yet he is able to do this. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? We let them overrule us. Go into it a little more deeply. You don't want them to rule you, right? You don't want them to have power over you. Yet that happens. But it is easier for somebody else to rule us rather than we ruling our own self. I understand. But then, what makes it easier for him? We all <coughs> want freedom, right? As young people, as energetic people, we all want to be free. We all want to live life our own way, yet we find ourselves dominated. We also find security. We also want security on the other hand. So what are we doing? We are being dominated by someone because there is a desire for something. We are trading away freedom for security. We are trading away. You enable the other person to dominate you because. You have made an agreement with the other person. Hmm? It's a trade agreement. You know what is that agreement? That agreement is, I give you my freedom. Please take away my freedom. But give me an identity. Give me security. Give me financial help. Give me beliefs. You have traded it away and it's such a poor trade. It's such an unprofitable trade. It's like giving something precious away for something that is very, very trivial. Your freedom is so very precious, but you have traded it away for something as trivial as a few conveniences and security and identities. For these very trivial matters of convenience. A room, a house, food, a name. You have given away your freedom. Nobody has taken it away. You have traded it away. What makes you sign that agreement? Why did you sign that agreement? giving my freedom away the thing is that i am being you know a victim of casteism here so i just want to know how to deal with that casteism wala thing just because i am not a pandit i have to break my relationship within a time duration of two and a half months that i have been given apurva it is not at all possible to not to be free you say i am happy giving away my freedom but please don't take this away from me. If you are happy giving away your freedom, then effectively you are saying, I am a slave. And a slave can have no free will. If you have given away your freedom, now why, what right do you have to ask for anything? A slave has no right to ask for anything. Only a free man has a right to ask for a free life. For anything from life. So please don't say that I have given away my freedom. That's such a... Dangerous statement to make. Don't make that statement. If you have given away your freedom, you have given away yourself. 
Now you will have to do what others want you to do. And this is such a pathetic trait. Such a pathetic trait. I gave away my freedom, you give me a few conveniences. A few luxuries of life. Who can dominate you if you refuse to take what you are taking? You are taking so much from the other person. Obviously, he develops a right over you. When I am giving you so much, will I not expect a return? When I am giving you so much, will I not expect a return? You are taking so much from those around you, they are expecting a return and you know what that return is. Give me your life. We are giving you money, security, identity. You give me your life. You have traded your life away. Stop trading your life away. Simple. How to stop trading your life away? Stop taking what you are taking. Till the time you keep taking what you are taking, you will remain a slave. The lesser you take, the more free you are. The less dependence you have, the more freedom you have. The more dependent you are on any external entity, the less free will you be. Is this becoming clear to you? What's your name? Srishti. What you are calling as love may actually be something else. Love does not demand a return. Love does not say that I have given you so much, now you live according to me. This is trade. Pyar or vyapar mein antar hota hai. This is trade. Please do not think that there is love in this. No, not at all. There is nothing obvious in this. Please, there is nothing obvious in this. But if they are being, they have given us such a light. So out of that, if they expect that, we respect them or anything. What do you call this? I have given you this, so I expect that you do give this to me. Whatever. I have given you this, you give this to me. What is this called? Obviously. This is obvious. <laughs> that I give you X, you give me Y, this is a trade. But this is not at all obvious that you are saying that we can't have this thing with parents. This is not at all obvious. His parents are not allowing him to do that. So, he, you know, they are his parents. So, for her, she, he cannot oppose them. He, obviously, he has some weakness for them also. No, no, no. What we disrespecting? If you oppose your parents for a good, for a, you know, uh, justified cause. They are opposing him. So, obviously, they also have a valid reason for this. So, he's how to distinguish or how to manage his parents. How old are you? How old are you? Are you eight years old? That somebody else must take your decisions. So, but there's someone else. They are there are they are so, what does parents mean? Who told you? You are a person. And you are you are a person. And that fellow is also a person. You have your brains. He has his. It's a deep, deep conditioning. It's a deep, deep conditioning that is attached to this label, parent. The only relationship between any two individuals can be that of love. A relationship of obligation and duty cannot be a real relationship. You are talking repeatedly of parents and you are saying we have some obligations, we have some duties. And you are not saying there is love. Had there been love, would there have been such a conflict? तुम अभी उनके साथ हो क्या? तुम अभी उनके साथ हो क्या? मन में लगातार ये बात आ ही रही है 
कि उन्होंने मेरी फ्रीडम छीन रखी है अभी हो क्या यू कैन बी विद पर्सन ओनली वेन यू आर इन लव विद दैट पर्सन दैट इज ओनली रिलेशनशिप पॉसिबल बट देन यू आर सींग माई रिलेशनशिप इज ऑफ ट्रेड Obviously, you are not with that person. It's a trader's relationship. In that, you are not with anybody. हर की बात नहीं, अपनी बात करेंगे. नहीं मतलब मेरे लिए फिर तो हर लिए. अगर सबके साथ ऐसा ही है, then we need to understand that there is something else. Because 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 there is आपको सबकी जिंदगी जीनी है अपनी जीनी है आपको सबकी जीनी है अपनी अपनी बात करें अपनी इफ आई एम सराउंडेड विथ पीपल विथ हू माई रिलेशनशिप इज ऑलवेज ऑफ गिव एंड टेक देन यू नो वॉट विल हैपन आई वुड बी कॉन्स्टेंटली इन फियर एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली अंडर प्रेशर I would be eager to take and afraid that so much has to be given. As happens in business, whenever you have a deal that I have to give this and I have to take that, what happens? You say I want to minimize what I want to give and I want to maximize what I want to take, and that's a relationship of greed and fear. That's not love. Love is an entirely different thing. It has an entirely different flavor to it. There you don't count what you have given to the other person, not at all, and you never demand anything. That we have given you so much, now it is your obligation to give us back. If somebody says there is an obligation, please know that he does not love you. He was investing in you. He was investing in you so that you may be productive at a later stage. I invest in a factory. I invest in lakh rupees. so that i may get back 20 now do i love that factory the moment that factory says no i am free i'll say hold on give back my 10 lakhs give back give back factory says no i want to marry a factra you say not out not permissible especially when the factra belongs to another caste not possible <laughs> Find out love, whether it is with parents or friends, or <laughs> by seeing that what you are currently calling as love is not love. Till the time you hold on to this notion of love, you will never get to the real thing. Till the time you hold on to the fake, how can you get to the real? First of all, get rid of this notion that this is love. This is not love. See, our relationship with anything is not of love. We, we are not in love with books, not in love with our sports, not in love with this movement. We study so that we may get marks. You see the trade. I am studying so that I may get marks. All the time we are just calculating what profit and loss, profit and loss. i am investing time i must get marks there is no love between us and our books and that has become a way of life with us the traders mentality life is not lived as a trade life is meant to be lived in love fall in love with your books and then you won't be worried about placements and everything else love your parents and then the situation won't arise let your parents know what real love is right now they may also be living in the traders mentality somebody has to initiate why not you hmm? your parents also deserve better after all i mean intentions are always good it's just that they do not know Don't call it a valid reason. See, no valid reason depends upon a particular label. You do not look at a person through his brand and label. That way, you all will always be at a disadvantage. 
if a person you see caste is a label and there are many other labels that are attached to us economic status educational status religion gender country there are many other labels and caste is one of those labels then you should also not complain that you know why are ideas given preference in everything and why are they always respected in everything because they have a label because they have a label but then you don't want to go by that you say no not at all look at merit the label should not count if there you want to look at merit here also look at merit look at that individual is that individual worthy of love if yes then what is the point in looking at labels what is the point what do you mean by valid reasons can label be a valid reason your name is also a label someone can reject you uh, i forgot your name srishti someone can just say srishti what an obsolete name chi i don't like this that's as stupid as that that's as stupid as that if caste is a valid reason then your very name is a valid reason srishti chi You don't understand. No, sir, I'm absolutely getting what you're trying to say, but it happens many a time when we are not. It means we just leave the situation of the marriage case. Any other situation means I was thinking of uh, not having kids. I don't want to pursue MTech, but my father wants that I should go for MTech. So how should I convince him that no, I don't want to do this and I want to give him a choice? See, 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 see,